Number 21. Show that, as stated in the text, a force F perpendicular exerted on a flexible medium at its center and perpendicular to its length, such that such as the uh, in the tightrope, figure 4.17 gives rise to a tension of magnitude of this thing. Okay. If you understood that, you're better than me. Um, so it's a, it, it, basically what they're trying to do, all right, is what we're trying to solve for is we're trying to figure out an equation in my free body diagram here that represents the tension. That's it. Okay? That's basically all that they're asking us to do. So my job here will be, so here's my free body diagram, right? I have an object, like in my figure over here on the top right. I have an object here, with the mass pointing straight down. That's the perpendicular force that they're talking about. All right, perpendicular to what? Perpendicular to the, basically, basically the axis of the type rope. Okay, so all we have to do here is uh, let's simply try to break this apart and let's see if we can uh, solve what's going on. All right, so this is a y a dimensional problem, okay? So I'm gonna use the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to the uh, mass multiplied by the acceleration in that y dimension. So now what are the forces all in the y direction? And by the way, why am I not caring about the x dimension here? Well, the reason why is because if you look at, let's say this component over here, okay? The, the x component here would be some value, right, pointing to the left. And then the x component of the tri of the um, tension on the right hand side, right, would be also some value pointing to the right. But they would be the same values, right? Because the t's are the same and the angles are the same. So therefore, the, uh, the x value should also be the same. But they're pointing in opposite directions, so they cancel. Okay, that is not the case in the y direction here, right? In the y direction, let me draw one of them in. In the y direction, we have one pointing up, right? I'll call that tension, tension in the y. And, the, and then on the other one, we got the same thing, right? Tension in the y. But notice they're both pointing in the same direction. That's a V. That's not a T. Tension in the y. All right? So they're both pointing in the same direction. Therefore, they add to one another. They don't cancel. All right? So this is what we now need to consider when we're talking about the F, uh, di uh, excuse me, the y direction. We're talking about the forces purely in the y direction. So what would they be? Again, we have one tension in the y direction coming from one of the triangles. Another tension, right, coming from the other triangle in the y direction. And then a weight, okay, which is negative. So minus W is going to equal the mass times the acceleration in the y direction. Okay, so let's just uh, manipulate two things here. So tension in the y plus tension in the y. Now this is minus w, but in terms of their formula, that w that they're talking about is really the force perpendicular, okay? Is the perpendicular force, right? Notice in the picture again, if I had, that's the axis of the tightrope and his weight is perpendicular to that axis. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, instead of writing w, just so we can match it up, I'm just gonna write f perpendicular, all right? is equal to then MAY, but is there any acceleration in the problem? No. Right? So this is, becomes a big old fat zero. All right, great. So why don't we do this now? So let's combine the two terms. Okay, so we got 2TY, right? And then add over the force parallel to the right-hand side. So that should then equal F, uh, not F parallel, F perpendicular. All right, so now we're almost there. But I don't want to know, I don't want to uh, find a formula that involves the tension in the y dimension fully. I want to get a uh, formula that involves the tension overall. So how do I do that? How do I find an equation that relates the hypotenuse of the triangle? Hmm, right? Well, if I want to incorporate the hypotenuse and this angle, and I know the side opposite of that, sounds like I'm going to use sine. So let's do that. So sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So sine of the angle is equal to the opposite side, which was the tension in the y dimension, divided by the hypotenuse, which is strictly the tension overall, the resultant tension. Now solve this thing for tension in the y direction. So just cross multiply the tension on over. So we get T times the sine of theta is equal to tension in the y dimension. Why did I do that? Well, because like I said, I want to substitute this on into my equation for tension in the y uh, direction. 
So I can just now simply plug it in. So now I get two times tension sine times the sine of theta is equal to f perpendicular. Okay, great. Now I take a look at the top, guys. Right here, I want to solve it now for just the tension. So that's my job. Okay. So notice the two and the sine of theta are multiplied by or multiplied to the tension. So therefore, I can divide both of them out. Right. So I divide them both out of this uh, both sides. They cancel here on the left. So leaving me with t is equal to the force, the perpendicular force, which was just the weight of the object divided by two sine of theta. And it is a thing of beauty. Right? Matches up perfectly. All right, guys. Listen, thanks for tuning in. I hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. And I will talk to you in the next lesson. Thank you very much.